Russia sends soldiers on crutches into meat assaults. Wounded Russian soldiers are being sent back to the front lines for meat assaults. The Ukrainian army has reported that such occupiers are often captured. As the Telegraph reports, the occupiers are often given minimal medical care and sent back to the trenches. The tactics show a clear disregard for the infantry. Some Russians walked onto the battlefield on crutches. Other wounded soldiers recorded videos pleading with their commanders for proper treatment. It is noted that one serviceman, who was captured by the Ukrainians was driving an armored vehicle with bloody rags on his wounded eye. The assault forces are often made up of infantry, prisoners and wounded. British military intelligence estimates that the Russian occupiers have lost 70,000 troops in the past two months, an alarming rate that shows no sign of slowing down. Ukrainian soldiers told the Telegraph that they saw wounded men staggering during the battle. In addition, the Russians are using Ukrainian prisoners of war as human shields. Meanwhile, Russian soldiers are begging not to be sent into the assaults wounded, appealing to the command, the military prosecutor's office and personally to President Vladimir Putin. Why would they send the wounded and exhausted into battle? It's like sending people to their deaths. Two soldiers from the 1009th Regiment said in a video posted on social media. The commander says that tomorrow we must go and storm this building again. But how can we do this if we are in pain, we are wounded and we simply have no strength? The occupiers complain. The occupiers said the only medical care they received for shrapnel wounds was from their own first aid kit while they were hiding in the forest. A group of wounded men say, some of whom had been on crutches during the assault, they tell, hear us, please hear us, hear us. This is our last chance. We have no other options. The latest death toll among Russian soldiers averages more than 1,000 a day as fighting escalates on the newly opened front in Kharkiv and elsewhere in eastern and northeastern Ukraine. While this new approach has increased pressure on the front line, effective Ukrainian defenses and the lack of Russian training reduce Russia's ability to exploit any tactical gains despite attempts to extend the front line further. British intelligence said, Ukrainian soldier Hunter said that Russian soldiers are simply left in their positions to die. This is a common situation when wounded Russian soldiers are captured. According to them, they were abandoned by their own comrades to die without food or water, he said. Hunter reported seeing Ukrainian prisoners of war being pushed ahead of advancing Russian soldiers forced to act as brutal human shields. In the Donetsk region, a Russian soldier was captured by Ukrainians. His leg is rotting from a shrapnel wound. The soldier who did not give his name said, we carried the wounded Russian on our side for many kilometers to save his life as he was left to die on his own. Hunter confirmed that many units, including the poorly trained, lightly equipped Storm Z assault units, were forbidden from leaving their positions. If such units retreat, they can be destroyed by their blocking units. The Russian armed forces mobilize people with serious diseases, such as tuberculosis or HIV, and such soldiers are treated differently, Hunter said. A terrible accident occurred during the IndyCar Championship race held at the Oval Autodrome in the state of Iowa, USA. According to the report, Will Power, who competed in the Penske team, won the race, but when he crossed the finish line, four cars behind him collided with each other. In the video published on the social network accounts of IndyCar the images of the incident from all angles are shown. On the last lap of the race Alexander Rossi ran low on fuel and slowed dramatically. Sting Ray Robb closed on Rossi's car quickly, hitting its left rear. The contact sent Robb's Chevrolet into the air and then into a tumble on the track surface. The car landed on its aero screen, and Robb was placed on a stretcher after being removed by safety workers. He was taken to a nearby hospital but was listed in good condition. Ed Carpenter and Kyle Kirkwood also were involved in the crash. Carpenter's car came to a stop on top of Kirkwood's, with Carpenter's left rear tire sitting on Kirkwood's aero screen. After a tense minute or so, workers helped Kirkwood exit his car. I'm not sure exactly what happened with the fuel load, but we had to go into a pretty crazy save mode there at the end, Rossi said. I think we were going to get there, but unfortunately there was an incident where I was beginning to lose fuel out of turn 2, and it ended our day. All participants who were injured in the accident were given immediate medical assistance. 
Three of them were released after examination at the medical station of the autodrome, and one more was conscious and his condition was not dangerous. However, he was admitted to a local hospital for further examination.